So these louvers are made out of aluminum. This is a very flexible, thin metal. So I'm going to use, when I put the screws, I'm going to put a washer on these guys to reduce the crimpage around here. So in the opening for these uh, gable end vents, attic vents, there's a little bit of overlay of the stucco. I need to trim it off and I'll use my favorite tool, a Dremel. So, just got there. I'll take care of this. No problem. Get that first one screwed in there. I almost always pre drill everything, makes it a lot easier. So. Last little bit tightening it, I'll use a screwdriver. Perfect. So I've got to drill a hole right here to make room for the internet cable line coming out of the attic. And these things are in the way for this drill bit to turn freely, so I need to cut this back. I'll use that. Show them here with a tile bit. See if we can get this guy going here. This drill bit were to get caught up in this thing, this thing's real cheap, it would break all up, bend it up. So now that I, got, I can move it fairly. This is a half inch drill bit. And a lot of times when I'm drilling things, um, if it's tough material, I'll work through successive increasing sizes of drill bits to get to the whole, cell, whole size I want. But th this is real soft aluminum, so just one shot with this guy should do it. All right, let's give this a shot. I got the east side of the uh, house done, got the vent installed, and reattached my internet cable back in the attic. So here's the west side of the house, it's all done. Um, we paid someone $5,400 to stucco these east-west ends of the house, and it was uh, $300 in paint to paint this east-west ends. The vents were about 100 bucks. So I'll total $5,900 and 22 hours of dedicated effort on my part to paint these west walls and install the vents.